hold it for five seconds. I need this clip. <laughs> Hi, my name's Dee and at the start of September I got to travel to Japan with a group of students from the Australian National University. There we met up with students from the University of Tokyo and spent two weeks travelling around learning about geological hazards. And where better to learn about geological hazards than a country that experiences over 100 earthquake tremors per day. We began in Tokyo, then we travelled north to the Tohoku region where we spent the first week travelling along the east coast learning about tsunamis. Then in the second week we travelled southwest to learn about Mount Fuji and its surrounding regions. My favourite part of this trip was that we got to go and explore Japan off the tourist track. We got to see memorial sites and other locations that usually tourists might not get to see, which gave us a really unique perspective of Japan. Now that we're back in Australia, we met up with some of the other ANU students that went on the trip, as well as some of the lecturers that made this trip possible for us, to ask them to share their experiences. My favourite thing about the trip was probably being able to climb Mount Hoi, which is the crater on the side of Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji was definitely a highlight of the trip. Yeah, because um, it was both like a cultural and geographical significant location, so it was really interesting to learn about both sides of that. It's pretty hard to beat a place like that. Being a geologist student, like, we really were really keen for the mountains. Being up above the clouds and surrounded by some fairly cool rocks is pretty great. And of course it was really cool um, to get up nice and high and to be able to say we've been on Mount Fuji. I particularly enjoyed going to the Fujitsu Laboratories because I want to go into natural disaster management and studies in the future. I've enjoyed learning about the supercomputer and what it's capable of with tsunami modelling. My favourite thing about the trip to Japan I think was being able to combine the two degrees that I'm doing because I never really get much of a chance to do it because they're so different doing earth science and science communication and Japanese. I really enjoyed um, the experience of meeting new people. When the 2011 tsunami happened I remember following it on the news with my mum and being really horrified by what I saw but it was really difficult to feel like I was connecting with the people there so to actually meet people who are from that region, to meet people who had experienced that tsunami um, really added this dimension to something I had seen that I didn't really consider before, which was the human impact and the, the weight of human stories. We have been, you know, as Japanese, uh, you know, including students, uh, they've been living in uh, Japan uh, throughout their life. And so the earthquakes and uh, typhoons and so on is sort of a uh, you know, part of their daily life. The thing I probably liked most about that is I ended up friends with many of these people and um, I've come back now with all these great connections and these friendships that I hope will last a long time. I was planning to uh, you know, have this program uh, as an international sort of experience, uh, both uh, Japanese students and uh, Australian students. So not, not only for the, um, the science aspect, but also the, uh, the social aspects and also the culture. I found that the most valuable thing that I learned from the Japan trip was probably a better understanding about geological hazards and how they have a wider impact on not only the environment itself, but on um, society on a broader level. Usually, uh, the Japanese shrine uh, built up the high uh, place. But the tsunami hit that's what, and blow out to the sea, the shrine. We hope the students will get a lot out of a course like uh, the Japan trip in the new Colombo plan. What we want students to do is see how science communication happens in practice, but in different parts of the world and in different uh, cultural contexts. By learning to appreciate another culture and experiencing another culture and um, their way of life and their also ways of thinking as well, it really makes you reflect on your own cultures and experiences back in Australia. How different cultures and different societies look at issues like geohazards, which is what we looked at. It did stimulate a whole lot of discussions between the University of Tokyo students and the ANU students about the differences between um, culture, university, but also government as well. We had a good discussion about climate change, the different approaches that the Japanese and Australian governments are taking to tackling that issue. We can put students into lecture halls and we can teach them the theory of these kind of uh, processes that they're studying, but to actually get them on the ground and talking to people who live with these kind of geological hazards on a daily basis is an extremely important experience for them. It's quite different from being cooped up in a little like room while you study yeah, here at ANU and it's 
it's quite liberating. I think it's really important to step out of the books and out of what we might see on the internet, dive into what people actually see on the ground, what people do on the ground, and then you can really put your learnings into practice. When we went to see all the memorials and the statues that actually displayed the height and got you to visualise the depth and power these different natural disasters have, like you can watch the news and see it and be like, that's a big thing. But actually when you're standing there with these statues, you realize the huge nature of it and how they really are something that has to be dealt with. Standing there in a place where all of these events have happened, you've learned about it and being able to see, visualize, talk to those people who are there is an incredibly different experience. The thing that I remember most distinctly was visiting the Miracle School where um, many students who um, were in a region where the tsunami hit were um, evacuated. I remember being there and having, you know, one of my friends who I made there kind of um, explaining the parts that are in Japanese to me. And I think just like the look on her face when she saw the area that she'd obviously heard about through like, you know, the course of the Japanese media. I hadn't heard about it at all in the Western media. And just having the experience of seeing her reaction compared to mine and being able to share that with her, I think was really valuable. And I will remember that, I think, forever. This trip was made possible through DFAT's New Colombo Plan Scholarship. The New Colombo Plan aims at strengthening ties between Australia and the Asia Pacific region and allowing students to apply their degrees in a real life scenario. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I would recommend it, yeah. Definitely do it. Definitely go for it. It's a really worthwhile experience and you're not going to regret it. It's great fun. I would say do it. Take every opportunity you get. I mean, not everybody gets an opportunity like this and it's really, really exciting to be able to experience another culture and to be able to, to consolidate what you're learning at uni in a different country and in the field rather than just in the classroom. This is something I would recommend to anyone just to get a different experience of the world. Do it. All of the people I've met and everyone who we interacted with through the entire trip were just wonderful people that actually really wanted to share and I found that the best experience of all. For a lot of undergraduate students, they follow quite a traditional route through university. They attend lectures, they attend practicals. Earth science has a stronger focus on going out in the field, but for students who aren't studying the earth sciences, giving them an opportunity to actually travel as part of their degree uh, is valuable to them as a learning experience as well as just a simple cultural experience about seeing how other universities work. Dive in. Uh, experiences are challenging, places where things are different, um, where you're not sure what's going to happen, can be incredibly valuable. Because that's when all the stuff that you've learnt, you can really see what it actually means in the world. And that's, that's great for your, for your brain, but also great for as you go out there into the, your jobs afterwards. Do it. Just get in there, have an amazing time. There is so much that you can learn by going on this trip. I would 100% recommend it. As part of our journey, we were required to post on social media about the things that we learned each day. If you want to learn more about our trip or see some of the things that we saw, you can have a look at our posts using the hashtag GeohazardsNCP18. You can do it. Right. Go, Amy, go! Thank you. Is it fun?